Hi everyone, Dr. Nibichek here. I want to go over uh, and explain why of your omega-3s that you get in fish oil, you have EPA and DHA, why you want to have a high amount of DHA in that fish oil that you're picking. Okay. Now, there's a lot going on in this sli uh, slide. We're going to focus over here. So this is normal repair process in the brain. So you have these things. Uh, they call them a M0 uh, microglia or microglia. And these are a specialized white blood cell that help to kind of nurture, take care of, prune, repair your brain. Okay? So you're sitting there, and then if you get an injury, some uh, you'll have the shearing force. Let's say you have a physical injury. Neurons can actually rupture. And then their contents, their what we call organelles, can spill out into the cytoplasma and so this guy will change his behavior and they actually look a little different in a microscope to what we call a M1 microglia. Now this guy's inflammatory now, and inflammation is, I'm talking about all the time, inflammation is a necessary healthy thing. It just has to be short-lived. It's only a problem when it's chronic. And so he cleans up all the debris, then he changes his behavior again, he becomes a repair a repairman, we call him an M2, and when he's done, he goes back to this resting phase. And that's how your brain gets repaired with these cells. Now there's some chemicals and other things that are helping him, but that's the main component. Uh, these cells are replaced about every uh, three months with brand new healthy ones, and so that's what's going on. now. The problem is, this guy, if he comes in, you know, if you have some events like COVID can do this, encephalitis, which is a brain infection, uh, PM25 particles, also the really small particles that you can breathe, they get right in the bloodstream, Re frequent brain injuries. So think about uh, NFL football, inflammation in the fetus when they're still in the uterus, okay? And then LPS leakage from dysbiosis or SIBO. When you get bacterial overgrowth, um, LPS is a molecule on the outside of the bacteria that live in the colon that leaks in the bloodstream. And if there's enough, it can get in the brain and trigger this. So any of these things that happen can cause what we call priming. And priming will take this healthy resting M0 uh, microglia and turn it into a primed M1 microglia. Now here, M1 is healthy, okay, because it's short-lived. This guy is permanently inflammatory and is immortal, will not die. In uh, brain specimens of people with Alzheimer's, when you pull these out, um, they can carbon date the, the surface, and these cells are about uh, 40 or 50 years old. Okay, that's how long this disease process is happening before you develop uh, Alzheimer's dementia. Anyhow, so this guy's permanently inflammatory. And now, whenever you get an injury, um, this guy will magnify, he makes the injury worse, and uh, he prevents you from fully recovering. And so you end up with this little residual damage, and these injuries then start building. Boom, 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 boom. And that's where a lot of our patients come in, and they feel like, I mean, they're in bad shape, they've got this neurological, autonomically, they're just a mess, and they have no idea how it happened. They just feel like they're slipping. And it's from just multiple tiny little events, some physical injuries, inflammatory injuries, that could be from like surgery or fracture or vaccine or COVID. Um, emotional traumas will add to this, and this damage, because of this primed in one microglia, just keeps building, okay? And that's how you get cumulative brain injury, uh, or uh, they're starting to call it in the research, um, minor repetitive traumatic brain injury. Now, here's where the DHA comes in. DHA has a very, very potent effect. And <clears throat> what it does, so oh, in a healthy state, the only thing this M1 can do is turn into an M2. Well, if you take enough DHA, this M1 the behavior will change, and he starts acting like an M2, okay? Uh, if you stop the DHA, it goes back. You can see here also olive oil, uh, the Vegas uh, stimulator will do the same thing. DHA, I think, is the most potent. So this guy 
will, you take enough DHA, this guy will go and stay at this point. You have to just stay on the DHA. Now, what about the other major fish oil? E there's EPA and DHA. EPA, so most fish oil has a lot of EPA and a small amount of DHA. EPA does not get in the brain to any significant extent. You need a lot of DHA. You need fish oil that is high DHA, low EPA. Okay, and that's, that's what we sell. That's what makes our fish oil particular. Our liquid is high DHA, low EPA. Our fish oil capsules are high DHA, low EPA. It's so that we get maximum amount per capsule or per teaspoon, whatever your dose is, into the brain to cause this shift and hold these, you know, maintain this uh, primed M1 in this healthier M2 state. They are working on strategies to try to get rid of this, these primed M1s. I don't know how close we are. I thought we would be closer by this point. It might be another six, 10 years, you know, before we can permanently get rid of them. And so until then, you use your DH, high DHA fish oil to maintain this in this state. And also if you see my protocol has olive oil and BNS, all of these things cumulatively will do this. But in particular, I just want to focus on, that's why that you need the high DHA fish oil. All right. Okay, everybody uh, have a great weekend and I hope you found this helpful.